Hey friends, we continue to navigate through the New Testament together. We're in Romans now, Romans chapter 2, as we're walking through this incredible teaching and story of God and explanation of God to the church in Rome from Paul. Paul writes to the church and tells them in Romans 1 that it, the wrath of God is coming, the punishment of God is coming because of our substitutes, our substitution for immorality in place of God's morality, a substitution of sin in place of holiness, a substitution of lies instead of truth, a substitution of uh, impurity and selfishness and greed in place of purity and righteousness. And and that wrath, that punishment is coming. So then Paul goes into chapter 2 uh, and starts to write about that judgment. God's judgment is coming and we are without excuse. In fact, chapter 2 verse 4 is the verse I wrote down. Do not show contempt for the riches of God's uh, kindness, forbearance, and patience. It's intended to lead you to repentance. In other words, you've been given a gift. God's patience and and delay in that wrath and judgment is a gift to you and I to turn us back to him. I mean, his kindness is probably the most abused gift ever given in history. His desire to give us Jesus and the death of Jesus on the cross to cover our sins was a gift that he gave us. And yet people turn from that gift and abuse it, con continuing to pursue their own selfish desires. Paul's point is that the wrath is coming and judgment is with it. And God's patience and his kindness will run out if we don't turn back to him and repent. And that's that's the point to the Roman church, not just for unbelievers, but for all of us. We need to turn back to God and repent. Blessing is given to motivate us to turn back to God, not to reject him. So we are without excuse. Our delay tactics uh, to pursue our own selfishness instead of the holiness of God will run out of time. And and not only that, the 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 punishment that is going to come will eliminate any other options for us if we don't repent and turn back to him. God's kindness is calling us to repentance. And you know that's the right way to go. It's not his judgment. It's not its rules. It's not his threats. It's not his authority that convince us to turn back to him. It's the kindness that he displayed by sacrificing his own son on a cross. It's the, the love he demonstrated by healing us and, and uh, healing our souls with his love instead of condemning us with his judgment. The delay in his judgment gives us room to turn back. So turn back. Repent. Come back to him in those areas where you have substituted lies for truth and find out that his, his patience and his forbearance and his kindness are actually the best gifts you have available to you. It's time for us to see that his judgment is true and real and it's coming and we need to turn back to him. Well, God bless you as you do. We'll see you again next time as we continue this story and lesson from Romans.